Manila, Philippines, France has assured nations with territorial claims in the South China Sea they will not get involved to fuel the situation, citing the deployment of the newest ship in the Marine Nationale, French Navy, is not an aggressive and provocative action, France's military operations chief in the Asia-Pacific region said Wednesday. Rear Admiral Jeffrey D. Andine, Joint Commander of the French Forces in the Asia-Pacific, Alpesai, and Commander of the French Polynesia Maritime Zones, told reporters during a press briefing aboard the French destroyer Lorraine their presence in the South China Sea showed their support for liberty of navigation. China claims nearly the entire South China Sea, including waters within the exclusive economic zones of Brunei, Malaysia, the Philippines, Vietnam, and Taiwan. While Indonesia does not regard itself as a party to the South China Sea dispute, Beijing claims historic rights to parts of that sea overlapping Indonesia's EEZ as well. France is the only European Union country to conduct navigation in the Taiwan Strait or South China Sea. But I shall make it very clear that our deployment will not be aggressive or provocative to anyone. As stabilizing power, France does not in any way take part in territorial disputes and supports any time dialogues. Dandine said he joined the voyage of Lorraine, the newest ship in the French Navy that was in Manila since June 23rd for a port visit in the Southeast Asian country. With 120 crew members, the vessel measures 141 meters in length, 19.8 meters in beam, and 4.9 meters in draft. It boasts a range of 6,000 nautical miles, 11,000 kilometers, at a speed of 15 knots, 28 kilometers per hour. According to Captain Xavier Baggett, the commander of Lorraine, once commissioned, their main task will be to escort the French aircraft carrier and LHDs. The deployment is to test the ship's various operational environments. That is why we are coming here to integrate with different navies. Before her port call, Lorraine participated earlier this month in maritime drills with Japanese, Canadian, and United States navies in the contested waters in South China Sea. Michel Bacas, ambassador of the French Republic to the Philippines, said Lorraine will be commissioned after the end of her voyage this year. Before her port call, Lorraine participated earlier this month in maritime drills with Japanese, Canadian, and United States navies in the contested waters in South China Sea. Michel Bacas, ambassador of the French Republic to the Philippines, said Lorraine will be commissioned after the end of her voyage this year. We are having an enhanced dialogue on that. And as you know, we are always promoting a rules-based international order, the rule of law and the UN Convention of the Sea, and specifically the 2016 Arbitral Ruling. In 2016, the Permanent Court of Arbitration in The Hague ruled in favor of the Philippines in a complaint against China, saying there was no legal basis for Beijing to claim historical rights in the South China Sea. The Chinese government has refused to comply with the ruling. Since her arrival, officials have met Philippine defense leaders discussing how they will improve their capabilities. 
French and Filipino navies conducted a friendly match with Philippine Basketball Association team Blackwater Bossing. Since her arrival, officials have met Philippine defense leaders discussing how they will improve their capabilities. French and Filipino navies conducted a friendly match with Philippine Basketball Association team Blackwater Bossing. Since 2018, France implements an Indo-Pacific strategy reflecting its interests in the region. Promoting a non-confrontational approach, it aims at fostering multilateralism with regional partners, as well as protecting the rule of law and the UN Convention on the Law of the Sea. Economic development and the protection of global commons such as climate resilience, biodiversity and health are among top priorities of this strategy. The South China Sea has been a region of significant geopolitical importance due to its strategic location, rich natural resources, and the contentious territorial claims made by multiple countries, including China, Vietnam, the Philippines, Malaysia, Brunei, and Taiwan. The area has been a subject of tensions and disputes, particularly over the control of islands, reefs, and maritime resources. In the context of supporting the freedom of navigation in the South China Sea, some countries, including France, have expressed their commitment to upholding the principles of international law, including the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, UNCLOSE. According to UNCLOSE, all states enjoy the right of innocent passage through territorial waters, and coastal states must not impede or limit this right. 